Charlie will be in her element now, on stage, in her greatest role. Too great. In episode six, we get to witness the final test of Charlie on multiple levels. Is this an operation that she can fulfill in terms of infiltrating Khalil's network and letting the Israelis get close to him for the first time? From Khalil's perspective operationally, it's also a massive test. The test for him is whether she will deliver a bomb. My sister says you're ready, Charlie. Are you? It's obviously so stereotypical to have him as an angry, aggressive terrorist. This kind of bogeyman that everyone had been talking about for six episodes. And then you meet him and he's just the most calm, gentle man. And I really like that twist. You don't have to do this, Charlie. You can go back to your old life now if you want. I won't come after you. She delivers the bomb, but is taken in by the Mossad team. At this point, they don't know whether she's working for them or whether she's working for the Palestinians. We follow her tonight. And take him. We don't kill him. No. We let them run. Kurtz turns the screw even further because he wants her to go back. And not only that, they want her to go in even deeper. Call me in as soon as he's vulnerable. Put him at ease. He's so deeply emotionally invested in this, and he knows that Charlie is as well. So this is a way for him to protect himself and her by pretending that it's nothing. It's just strictly business and do what you gotta do. You need to keep a clear head. Sir, head clear, sir, legs open, sir. What will you do with him? Will you kill him? She has, to some extent, absolutely fallen in love, or certainly really engaged with and felt for this incredibly lonely man. Charlie, by this time, has gone back to Khalil. Becker is watching the house and can see that Charlie and Khalil are, are getting closer. That, for Becker, is horrible turmoil that may be operationally necessary, but deeply painful for Becker. Khalil, meanwhile, uncovers Charlie's betrayal of him. Tell me the truth. <laughs> it's over. She learns that she was such a tiny pawn in this big plan, and her life has been at risk for the entire series. I'm so sorry. I hope it was worth it. So incredibly heartbreaking, and she's fallen for Khalil, and then she watches Becca kill Khalil. In terms of resolution, I think for Kurtz, this is a profoundly sad story because in a way, Kurtz is an idealist. And at the end of the series, he has to let go of those ideals. He comes face to face with that. In terms of hope, I like to believe there is a positive coming out of it for Charlie. That in the end, I think she knows that she will not find her moral compass or her identity by believing in others. She'll find it by believing in herself. She goes back to Becca. They're two now broken, wounded individuals. It's kind of like an essence of new hope. Who else could she go to? No one will understand her situation other than Becca. Who are you? Will they rebuild their lives together? I don't know. I think every audience member will have their own take on it.